Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this presentation I will introduce how to work with actuators with Facilino. In particular, I'm going to show you how to work with a relay and a servo. Okay, so this is what I call basic actuators. It's the ones we use for this course. Okay, so this is the uh, outline of the presentation. First I will introduce the material as usual and the work instructions and then I will talk about how to connect uh, the relay module just in case you don't know how to and then I will move on to the exercises. So first thing I will do is a fan control with a relay so we will see actually a fan uh, spinning and a servo, uh, we're going to generate a servo wave so the servo will be uh, the servo axis will be moving uh, based on a sinusoidal wave. Okay. So this is the material that we use for this presentation so as usual we are working with the Wemos D1R32 together with the Arduino multi-sensor shield and we use here a servo and a relay module here. So these are the two work instructions. So the first one is the relay instruction. Actually this instruction is exactly the same as a digital uh, write instruction so it just simply has uh, the name relay. So you can use actually a digital write instruction. So you can just simply put the pin here and the value which is high or low. Okay. And here we have a servo instruction which will allow you to uh, move uh, a servo based on the degrees or the position angle that you set here so it's a value between 0 and 180 degrees and here you have to select the pin you have the servo connected to. And a relay it's uh, very easy to, to uh, connect so a relay basically has a normally closed and normally open uh, pins and has a common uh, terminal here so when we activate the relay, uh, these two pins, uh, sorry, when, when, when it's not activated, these two pins are connected. So this is the normally closed, so when it's deactivated. But when we activate the relay, these two pins get connected. Okay, so they are, this is like acting like a wire. Okay, so here in this diagram, what you can see is that we have the 5 volts, so this red cable here. So we have the 5 volts, so whenever we activate the relay, it will go here and provide 5 volts here to the, to the fan and then we have the 0 volts signal here which is connected to the ground here. Okay? And the relay we can activate it and deactivate it here using the, in this case, the pin D7. Okay? And relays can work with loads, uh, AC loads or DC loads uh, up to, in this case, this module up to 10 amps. So they can manage the high power current uh, demanding loads here. An important thing with the relays is that they are not like transistors, so we cannot switch them at high frequencies. Okay, so we have to control processes with them. They require slot switching uh, conditions, let's say like temperature, so we need to activate the fan, things like that. Okay, so if we switch the relay very high, we can damage the module, the uh, coil that the relay has. Okay, so just for you to consider. So in this example, uh, I'm just simply showing how to use the relay. As I said, the, the relay instruction actually indeed is just a digital uh, write instruction. So in this example, what I'm doing is whenever I push the button, uh, whenever it's pushed, I set the relay to high and whenever it's released, I set the relay to low. And I just wait some time here in order to uh, uh, read again the button, okay? As I said, we cannot uh, do this uh, code uh, for a high frequency switching of the relay, okay, in order to avoid damaging the relay. And in this second example, what we have is a servo uh, instruction that the angle position is controlled with a sinusoidal uh, wave. So here, uh, what, I'm what I'm doing is a 45 uh, degrees amplitude at 1 hertz, and it starts at 45 degrees and the centered value is 90 degrees. Okay, so it's uh, minus 45 and plus 45 centered or offset with the 90 degrees here. So important thing also with the servo, whenever you work with the servos, is that you need at least 20 milliseconds between each servo command in order to, pro to work properly. Okay, otherwise it won't work as well because this is the time period that the signal for the servo requires in order to, to be controlled. Okay, thank you very much. In this presentation we have seen explain how to work with basic actuators with Facilino.